Hello everybody and welcome to another Frosty Nude report on the 9th of May 2021. Right, normally by now we'd have ourselves a polar blast, nice deep cold southerly, all the temperatures would drop, snow levels would drop, but our arch enemy, Mr. Global Warming, or I call him G-Dub, G-Dub is stuffing things up again. Uh, we have had colder mornings and up and up a hut the other day, three degrees when I was working up there in the morning. Yes, it got cold, but it hasn't stayed cold. In fact, today, rather than being cold and frosty, it is actually warm and moist. And that's something that uh, we don't want as frosty nerds as anything warm and moist. So what is happening? What is going on? The folk at uh, Metsuis and Niwa, all those big wigs who actually have all the toys and stuff, and they know what they're talking about, are now predicting a warm and dry winter. Now this raises red flags for all those industries that are in fact reliant on the cold and water. Humans need a lot of water, we should be a little concerned maybe, but most of all, our orchard growing friends, our vineyards, how are we gonna get a nice wine if there's no grapes, and of course, the ski fields. This week, we did see some snow fall on River Pehu, and it fell quite nicely, but there's nothing to back it up. This warm northerlies are coming through, these tropical northerlies coming through, washing everything away. What we need to worry about now is, are we going to get a snow base this year? Some predictions are saying that we will get sharp, cold blasts of winter with these intermittent northerlies. So not looking good for the snow hunt in August, but um, let's keep our fingers crossed. Hope that G-Dub goes off and does something else and leaves us alone for a while. Anyway, this is just a quick update because there's nothing to report from the frosty side of things. It's all down to the beach, maybe go for a swim. Uh, okay. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, thanks for your support.